Our question this week comes from Bart from Quincy, Illinois. Roger, watch a show all the time and love it. I'm having some trouble bow hunting and I need some advice. I'm shooting over every deer. I just can't seem to get my shot down enough. What do you think? <laughs> All right, Bart, thanks for that question. That is a great question. And let me tell you, friend, you are not alone shooting over the deer, all right? A lot of people don't realize that most shots taken by archers every year at our whitetails under 20 yards. In fact, under 15 yards. Over 80% of the shots every year at whitetail deer in America are under 15 yards. I dare to say that 90% of the misses are shooting over the deer. I'm here to tell you, it's not your shooting that needs fixing. It's something else. And that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to take a little bit of time here today to talk about this because I think this is a point and an issue that is not discussed enough by the professional hunters or anybody else in this industry. This is very important and very critical, and I'm gonna address the issue. I'm gonna help you fix this problem, all right? So I'm gonna, uh, there's some things I want you to do for me this fall. Don't ask any questions. I just want you to do these things this fall for me. Either in your current tree stand setup or in a brand new setup, hopefully a brand new setup, I want you to put your tree stand a little higher. All right, just whatever you're used to doing, Get a little higher, five, eight, ten feet. Just, just move it up. All right. Just do this for me. That'll give you a great ex excuse to wear your hunter safety system. Make sure you're safe. All right. Uh, number two, when you're trimming, you you got to have shooting lanes. But when you're trimming for your tree stand setup, I want you to trim less than you normally do. All right. I just want you to get by with just barely get by. Oh, there's a shooting lane here. And she, oh, I'd like to trim some more, but I want you to make sure that there's a lot of cover around you, especially in behind you. I want you tucked up in that tree back up in there, way high and way up in there. All right. All right. Now, number three, uh, for somebody that thinks that we have one of the best scent products on the market, and we do, the Maniac 150 and 155, I don't want you putting that out. In fact, I don't want you putting anybody sent out. Just do this for me to begin with. No scent whatsoever, none, all right? I don't want you using any decoys. I want you jumping up and down on your stand with, with your harness on, making sure that you make sure there's no squeaks, no, no nothing. I want you to give yourself extra time to get to your stand and extra time leaving your stand. Because I honestly believe with all my heart that most misses at white-tailed deer every year by bow hunters isn't the shooting they're missing because they're shooting at a deer that knows something's up. They're shooting at a deer, buck or doe, that senses, sees here, smells here, so, something's not right. They're on alert. And because of that, you're shooting over your deer. They're dipping down, ducking, and you're missing. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some video here to prove my point. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, we got a bow hunter, and there's a doe out there in front of him. She's probably 30, 40 yards. She's on alert. All right, you see her? She, she either sees him, she's on red alert. There is no way you should ever shoot at a deer like this. By the time you release your arrow, okay, and it gets to her, she will have bolted down and be halfway into the woods. Now, she's standing there broadside, and you, you, you say, well, I can center punch a target every time at 30 or 40 yards. When you know. It doesn't make any difference. She's on alert. She knows something's wrong, and this is absolutely a no-shot situation. It's just the way it is. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, here's a doe that's 15 yards or less, all right, the distance most hunters shoot at a deer. Now, she's not on red alert, but you can just tell from her body language she knows something is wrong. Something's just not right. Even at close, close range, this deer, she'll drop 8, 10 inches before the arrow hits her. You have to aim at the very bottom of her belly or your shot's gonna go high. You're gonna shoot over. 
All right, what are we gonna do to begin with this fall bark? We're gonna put a tree stand set up a little bit higher. Gonna make sure that we don't over trim, make sure there's lots of cover around us. Not gonna use any scent products, not gonna use any decoys. We're gonna give ourselves extra time get to and from the stand set up. Because bark, whenever you're up there bow hunting this fall and that buck or doe comes in, I want them to feel and know that they're out there by themselves and you're not anywhere near them. I want them totally undisturbed and not on alert and I promise you, when you pull back and release that arrow, instead of shooting over them, you're gonna center punch them and take them home with you. And that's what we want. If you'd like to send me an email, send it to Roger Raglan at rogerraglan.com. And check us out on Facebook, Camo Space, and Twitter.